everyone in this video i am going to discuss about uh, so what type of variables you can define inside the class types of types of variables we can define inside the class see java supports only four types of variables that you can easily understand right and easily recognize the first one is a static variables second one instance variables sometimes we can call it as non static variables third one is a method parameters method parameters and fourth one fourth one is a local variables total four types of variables are there so first of all so where you have to place the static variables instance variables method parameters and local variables right and what is the purpose so when we go with exactly static right when we choose instance when we choose parameters and when we choose local variables with one simple example suppose i am writing one class and this is what you are developing one project for a company project for so and so company and we can say that employee management system employee management system all employees belongs to one company this is the project suppose considered so you are defining a class class name is employee so this class is representing employee of course employee is one object so many so many employees will be present so many employees right all the employees all the employees representing with the employee class only they have different kinds of data first of all static variables means static variables store store common information common information of all objects common information of all objects let me explain here i am taking one one employee suppose so this is one employee right and different objects i am taking is a second employee and is a third employee so what are comes under what are comes under static so what is the common information the simple example simple example is company name company name is common for all so whatever the company name so whatever the company name so that is common for all for example you are developing application application for so and so company right for example the company name i am taking that access bank access bank or anything some private solutions or anything that company name is common for all employees right and it is shareable these type of details you can define it as a static so you can write in the employee class you can write company name as a static variable static string static string company name and here you can write that details the company name anything anything the company name you can write here it's your wish see where you are defining the st static variables we are defining inside the class using what using the static keyword that i'll explain definitions one by one one by one next comes under instance variables so more points i'll explain this is first point right instance variables instance variables store specific information specific information of object instance variables store specific information of object see look at this here i am taking the employees and now employee details employees having different names first employee is having suppose one name called amar second employee name may be different third employee third employee name may be different and next one 
right employee location first employee location is different second employee location is different third employee location is different contact number is different mail id is different salary may be different so, right all these are so what are the details which are not common which are specific for each employee right so comes under instance variables sir where we can define same inside the class only inside the class employee id suppose i am taking that id please don't use static keyword without using static keyword if you declare variable and don't give the value directly how can you give the value directly if you give the value 101 you can give 101 only you cannot give the value directly see because different employees having different ids different names and different locations sir when we can assign value that we'll see later in object creation process id the next one is a name of the employee suppose salary of the employee salary right what is comes under static and what is comes under instance variables right the variable stores common information of all objects comes under static the variable stores specific information of an object is called instance next what are comes under method parameters suppose i am writing one method total salary method if you want to find out the total salary, you have to pass the basic salary of an employee, basic. Based on the basic only, you will find out the total salary. This is what method parameter, where you have to place means what? Inside the method parenthesis. Why? Just to pass input to the method. Passing input to the method. Right, we are using method parameters. Method parameters are used to use it to pass input values to the method. That is, so this is the one. And what are the local variables inside the method? See, whenever you are finding the basic salary, I want to find out HRA and I want to find out the TA. I want to find out the DA, then I want to find out the total salary and print the total salary. Print total salary. Suppose this is my requirement. Write HRA. Suppose 15% of HRA. I'm not writing exactly. 15% of basic comes under HRA. Suppose 20% of basic comes under TA. Write 30% of basic comes under DA. Right, and here it is total means what? Basic salary plus HRA plus TA and DA. If you add all comes under, comes under total row. So here it is all variables you have to create double, 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 double. These are comes under local variables. Inside the method, to perform operations, you will get some results now. To store the results, temporarily we are using local variables. Here, local variables, local variables, store information, store results of processed input inside the method. Inside the method. So, there are only four types of variables. Hope you understood, right? What are the four types of variables you have to declare inside the Java? One is a static variable. Second one is instance variable. Second one, third one is method parameter. Fourth one is local variable. Static variable means location inside the class and outside to methods with a static keyword. Right. So now briefly static variable means right a variable inside the class inside the class and outside to methods methods using static keyword 
using static keyword. This is the one. Instance also same. Inside the class and outside to methods without static keyword. Without static keyword. So here it is. The variable inside the class and outside to methods without using static keyword. So please don't use a static. If you use a static, then it will become a static variable. So what type of data static variable stores means what? Store common information. What type of data instance variables store means what? Specific information of object. And what are the method parameters just to pass? Sir, where you are writing inside the method parenthesis, a variable inside method parenthesis, method parenthesis. So what is the purpose? Just to take input of a method. If you want to perform addition operation, minimum two numbers you have to read. If you want to check a number is even number or odd number, take that number as an input. If you want to find out the total salary of an employee, at least you should get the basic salary of an employee. That is. And next, what are local variables? Local variables means once you perform operations on input, the results you will store temporarily. And defining a variable inside the method. A variable a variable inside the method is called local variable. So easily you can recognize what are comes under static variables, what are comes under instance variables, what are comes under method parameters, what are comes under local variables. All these things easily you can recognize and easily you can answer. Hope you understood exactly. So what are the types of variables, right, supported by Java, nothing but what type of variables you can write inside the class, Java class. Okay, thank you all.